What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. And so to pick up where we left off, we have a force of, of uh, Maratha troops driving hard through the centre of India. And we have routed Eugene Denman to intercept and destroy them. And it will also draw in, at the very least, this force here. So, large component of uh, mob and dervishes, which is pretty powerful. The course and this army that's coming in to reinforce them is heavily depleted. So let's... Let's destroy them with our forces ever so slightly depleted, but not to a significant degree. Let's take them on. But I have to say, I don't really think that much of uh, the Marathas' military capability. Um, so, at least with the Mughal Empire, you were guaranteed to occasionally fight some armies that had Kizabashi Musketeers, or Hindu Musketeers, or at least some actual form of line infantry unit that would stand and fight. And and many many uh, armies containing them but in this case it just seems to be against the Mughals a limited number of not so um, challenging troops dervishes are good in the early game but late game they start to get a bit more exposed hmm oh well so let's group our cavalry up I've put all my ranges onto one flank so I can better try keep them alive because my my ability to uh, keep skirmishes alive on the flanks is not great I don't want to send them ahead because they'll end up just getting shot down as they retreat through my line or ridden down by my own cavalry that's the general reason why I don't like using I don't like using um, skirmishes the way that they should be used because otherwise they do just tend to get uh, they do just tend to get oh god cavalry where right? Pivot my rangers to act as a bit of cover. Fortunately though, as we said, the reinforcing army coming in is quite small. So let's push up our cavalry on the right on the left flank as well. Push up our infantry on the left flank, like so. They're going to fire at my regiment of force. Okay, charge into the back of the Lancers. If they advance to my line, advance too far to my line, let's get my rangers to deploy stakes. So if they make it past my line, at least my men have some cover. But the, the goal, the objective, is to knock out the cavalry so that our infantry have a better time of it. Keep my troops behind the stakes. It's not good at all. Hello, if you want to skirmish my men, that's, that's a welcome decision. Let's retarget my howitzers, just to make sure they're doing good work while I'm not looking. charge my cavalry on into the horsemen which means that my rangers can be free to be moved around to support. The troops that are going to come in here are very limited, they're very depleted so we're not too worried about what's coming. Charge up my 16th light. They can get involved in some musketry. I'm not sure who it was they were shooting at, but... Skirmishers have done an absolute devastating job on the troops on the right flank. Okay, get my field artillery to focus on the general's bodyguard. Get my howitzers. Get one of them at least. Start dropping shells at the armed peasantry. I might switch these other two to round shot to also attack the general's bodyguard because we're starting to get to the point where their lines are quite closely intermingled with our own. Charge in the 16th light. Hit the dervishes. Let's bring my unit of grenadiers into the action. The armed peasantry has been routed so continue to chase. Where's my general? Let's deploy my general into the mix. 
Charge a 16th light into the flank of the dervishes as well. Charge my marines on into the land... Not the landless rebel. Oh, that's general's bodyguard. No, 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 no. Don't charge into him. Of course, some of our units had guard mode off, so that's the reason why we are seeing units pursue. Let's get my cuirassier in against the general's bodyguard. My regiment of horse hold off on the flank. Okay, let's get my cavalry... Start to pursue some of these units of dervishes. Get these marines to about face and hit this unit of dervishes. So, you, are you in... No, you're still... Unable... To do much there. Well, I'll advance my line. Well, a section of my line. Except for my marines. They advance up the flank. Dervishes are a good target. Skirmishers fall back. Because we've got a unit of lancers coming in. That means this colonial line is going to drop into square. They're getting ready. Hopefully this unit of Queen's Rangers is ready. To repel borders. You men, actually, you guys chase, pursue. General can chase down this unit of dervishes. Yeah, my rangers dealt with them. The cuirassier should be okay against the general's bodyguard in the longer term. Come on, knock out the general. Well, I couldn't actually know that was the general. And then charge into the dervishes. Okay, let's maybe break off some units to form a rudimentary line. Fire it will off. Just start to chase down men. Well, actually, go for the dervishes. They've got a while to run yet. Bring up my cuirassier. Will my artillery hit the landless ramble? My howitzers cease fire. So the last unit of dervishes up there. Actually, all of you chase down that unit of dervishes, then you'll, then you'll fall back. No sense taking too many casualties in the pursuit of destruction the destruction of the reinforcing force not when I've got a unit of line infantry and two units of rangers in a good position to open up and engage there's only four dervishes general come on don't stint there's one left there he is turn around and fight your blackguard there he goes. <laughs> and go chase down the armed peasantry. All this infantry just advance to the front. So my skirmishers will be the first to engage, but it's only these two units left. To be honest, my cavalry could easily have done it, but by pulling them back, it gives me a bit of freedom to destroy the enemy without completely denaturing my cavalry, particularly my regiment of horse, which are quite experienced at this point. The armed peasantry have gone. Bring up my Queen's Rangers and bring up my line infantry. Because we're not going to pursue them. I'm only really bothered about the getting the dervishes, like armed peasantry and landless rabble. I'm not that bothered about. To be honest, I'm not even going to carry on the battle to kill this unit, because they're already down to 67 men. That's plenty, but I believe... Yes, that is the end of the action. Excellent. So that central thrust has been repelled. Quite drastically. 409 men remaining. The reinforcing army is destroyed. So Mr. Denman, march up to here. We're going to alter that. It's going to bring my secondary army into... Uh, position to be 
damaged, but I've got plenty of troops and there's no immediate threat. So Giles Brophy can afford to take a few losses and advance. We've got the Battle of Ahmadnagar to fight and also the Siege of Hyderabad. Yeah, both of you, are, you're in good enough shape to do that. So let's first of all fight the Battle of Ahmadnagar. It's outside the... Outside the uh, <laughs> there is no defences and they're all melee troops. Well, largely melee troops. Hmm. Interesting, well, it's, it's tempting to see if we can form a battle line and use the fact that they're melee troops to mean they have to advance up to us. They can't really afford to sit back and um, plink, if you like, at range with their artillery. A, because their artillery is outranged by my artillery. And B, we have a crap ton more of it. So if they sit back and be defensive, then the end result is going to be the destruction of their army. So these gunners are going to be focusing on that howitzer, howitzer unit. Let's get my troops, including the Royal Regiment of New York, in the line. It's not bad. I mean, some of this cavalry is going to be just out of it. Get my skirmishes up on the hill. Pike support on the right flank. Howitzers line up. Oh god, they've deployed like, as far back as they can possibly be. Which again, I suppose makes sense. But my gunners focus on the mortar units. Here comes the first volley of artillery fire. Killed one crewman. So... Let us advance. Unit of Lance is on the right. So you bring over me old pikes. Advance up my skirmishers. The howitzers may as well limber up. King's Royal Regiment of New York are on the flank to deal with the Lancers. Another volley, another another volley, and another crewman attacked. Okay, so gunners advance. Where's the other? There it is. Gunners advance. Run the Royal Regiment of New York and the Royal and the American Infantry Mercenaries up. Soon they're going to break into a trot and then a gallop. Another volley from my guns. I mean, it'd be great if you can knock out some of their artillery, but here we go. Forming into square is convinced that maybe it's not the right answer. We might be able to disrupt their charge with my pikemen. There we go. Cavalry going down. So who's that on the flank? Garrison Hindu warriors. Okay, so they're splitting up into two. So I probably want to do something similar. So oh, that's the Phylarch Arm Populus that's upset. Okay, let's keep the artillery running. So my light cavalry, you have your orders. You're going to go on a flanking run to knock out their mortars. And my field artillery, engage the enemy in the field. Which 
chasing my, my howitzers might just unlimber where they are. So on this flank, they've only got one unit of Hindu warrior. It's mostly armed populace. I mean, they've lost two guns. But there we go. They've left their how their, their mortars unprotected, ready for my light cavalry. The artillery can slam into targets on the battlefield. My men are ready in position. I well, might just do a bit of that. Then on the left flank, because they seem to be unsure about whether or not to advance. So maintain the pressure. Mortars tried to quick climb my cavalry. The garrison Hindu warriors. Ooh, they're going to route into my skirmish fire. Perfect. Now my skirmishes have something to do. Go on, Fraser's Rangers. Oh, they're shattered anyway. There we go. My light cavalry's got around the flank. Going to cut down the mortars. The armed populace is trying to be a bit tricksy. So let's keep our... Troops pushing. Let's probably focus on how it's a fire on the right flank, considering that's where most of our the bulk of our troops aren't in the best position. Enemy general's been killed, so let's bring my general's bodyguard up to chase down that garrison unit there. Push all my infantry up to secure the centre of the town. Push up my skirmishers. Charge my light cavalry into the firelock arm populace, see if we can make them rout. You men take position there in the centre, another unit hit the flank. The general's not going to get anyone. Okay, no, cancel my cavalry attack. Hindu warriors are going down. Target the non populace that is currently sat a bit close to the center. Advance my line. This regiment of foot is ready to begin. Pa, reload! So these are Firelock Arm Populace, these aren't rabble. Volley. The 91st Regiment is also ready to start firing. Yeah, there we go. Push my skirmishes up the hill behind. There's an oh garrison unit or well, unit of Hindu warriors is a bit cagey. Bring my pikes over because they might actually make it to the action. Bring my general into the town, bring my cavalry into the rear of this formation. Make sure my howitzers aren't engaging. While well, I'm engaging over here. No. Pull my general back. Hit the firelock on populace, retarget both my units of mortars. E men storm up the hill rapidly. The yeah, firelock on populace should fall in reasonable order. Too bad you didn't really charge into them, you just kind of ran into them. Ceasefire my artillery, all of it. Right now, everyone has routed. So, my general can chase down a unit of Hindu warriors. My pikemen and everyone else run up the hill to try to support my colonial light cav. 
They're broke. This unit of armed poppies is broken, but they're under withering fire from my skirmishes, so they could well shatter. Look at this poor cavalryman stuck behind the lines. Let's see if they can be. He can be rescued by the pikemen first. Okay, he should be okay. Should be okay. File on Populous has broken! Hurrah! So this is another territory taken for the British Empire in India. That's gone rather well. Then again, we did severely outnumber them, but <laughs> and we did have a huge amount more firepower than they did, so I'm not going to... Can't get smug over that, really. The Madnagar is ours. Let's rebuild. Build some fortifications. Our force is still being replenished. Let's destroy the ashram. Let's build a tea plantation because rural Britannia. Fleet ready. Aye, aye, Combine sir. some ships. Upgrade the farm. We do have a force being recruited here at Mysore. Let's get you some artillery. So six units of guns. That'll almost fill you up. Let's get a unit of Indian mercenaries. There we go. It's a Sepoy, Sepoy army. So you're pushing west towards Nagpur. You're pushing towards Akbarabad. You're pushing towards Ujjain. I mean, this attack's going rather well. We've got one more turn until we get defences here. Yes, sir. In Nerun. Elsewhere. Yeah, you're pushing up to the border. Okay, everyone's getting into position. Let's hit end turn. Got a lot of troop movements. Yeah, I think we need, we need to go knock out the uh, the Danish Empire as well as the Russians, to be honest. But things are going rather well in India, so it's 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 difficult to leave India because oh I forgot about bloody Hyderabad. I'll do that next. Looks like they're not really bringing in massive amount of massive amount of support to the garrison. So ooh, jewels. Okay, so they have walked in range of my army here. I wonder if this will be a river battle. Let's find out. Because it'll bring in this force here. Let's see. Let us see. We could well do that, actually. It could well be a river battle, which if it was, that would be perfect. Very, very efficient way of destroying a large number of Mughal troops. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, it could well not be. And it is a river battle, which is perfect. So, let's take four infantry units to cover the bridge. And where's the ford? There's the ford. So we need to do a bit of crossing. A bit of... Ooh, maybe that many troops is a bit excessive to cover the bridge. I, I tend to agree with it. So let's take this unit of mercenaries out. So let's deploy a unit of howitzers like this. And a unit of howitzers. Maybe I might just keep them together. They've got enough range to reach both. And then my gunners. Well, first of all, let's take two to deploy behind the lines to keep engaging the enemy. And then let's deploy one set to trundle up towards the bridge. Mr. Bertie, you're in a great position. Skirmishes are going to support the left flank. Okay, so, 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 quick. Be quick, be quick, be very, very quick. Let's put some grenadiers by the guns. They always give the impression of wanting to cross the bridge, but they never normally do. Hey, 
So all of our... Okay, so we need to thin out their gun teams. That means my howitzers also need to try and hit their gun teams. Sixteenth Light Dragoons are going to be behind the lines. Fire it will off. Got unit of mercenaries as reserves. They managed to knock out some of my crews. They've knocked out one of my trading teams. Okay, one of these guys needs to be firing quicklime. To be honest, they, they both do. The sooner we break their army, my my convention, my field artillery should win. Well, should in theory against two units of cannons, well, one unit of cannons and two units of guns. It's got a unit of lancers pushing up. They're already weakened. Form line, form square with you. I might want to pivot my skirmishes ever so slightly. So engage the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards with the square, with, with the canister shot. Then attack ground with the rest. The lances are shattered, so these men just have to hold square. Hello. These guys are limbering up, so make sure we hit them. So, a bit of a mass cavalry charge coming across here. But if we just start to dump people into square, it looks like they might go for our... go for our guns. You men are fending off a cavalry charge that hasn't even come in yet. They're skirmish cavalry. And they're wavering. No man, no men. New men fall back. Shrapnel shot, the dervishes, you men get out of square formation, reload rapidly. Yeah, that is you, that is their 138th running away. Go. The rangers can engage as well. How are my my gunners are losing the battle? So it looks like oh yeah, I'm gonna have to switch my howitzers to also attack the enemy artillery. Oh, that shrapnel shot just did real damage here. There's always one gun that's firing ahead. The other two should be about to fire. Yeah. Right into the mess. So quick line would be perfect. Well, I should still. I really should still have one of them attacking. Skirmishes are starting to pick off some enemy troops. But here come the volleys. The landless ramble have broken. Dervishes are upset. Rangers are picking them off. At range. Oh hoy hoy. Guns are wavering, but they shouldn't probably fall. They've lost one gun team. Shrapnel shot's still firing. I might switch to canister shot. It's a bit more dependable. It doesn't do as much damage, but it does do damage every shot. They seem to aim canister shot a bit better. Okay, emergency temporary target. <laughs> the mass of men. This is the kind of thing that without quick climb they could manage to make it. Both der dervishes up front have routed. The gunners go after Pindari horsemen. Quick climb coming in. 
new men drop into square. It looks like the Pindari horsemen shot a bunch of their own cavalrymen. And now this absolute mess of troops. You men just reload and fire. This is the Worcester Regiment. The yellow facings. Oh, quick climb coming in. It's the best crossing that's happened in a few turns. But I don't think it's going to be quite what they need to cross the river. Keep the main guns attacking their artillery. Yeah, there we go. And they're all falling back. Get this regiment a foot out of square formation. Get my gunners switched to shrapnel shot and aim at the Sikh warriors. See, a good number of these might actually come back. Yeah. And the dervishes have come back. Those dervishes might come back. Enemy reinforcements are coming in over the hill. Seek warriors have gone. Yeah, see? So I might keep one gun. We'll keep all my guns to attack grounding the centre. My artillery is doing okay against their artillery now. More quick climb coming in, more delicious volleys. The 143rd, the 143rd, the 140th and the 145th dervishes. I mean, they're not going to get anywhere, just walking across the line like that. Let's see what the grenadiers are think they're doing. They're reloading. There's the officer, pick him out! Ooh. Shrapnel shots going off. Yeah, they're all... they've had enough. So these men are reloading for the next wave. Shattered, shattered. I think there's definitely a morale component, actually, to shrapnel shot. Hey, you had a unit of cavalry try cross over the bridge. Didn't work, see? Might have some more trade. Yeah? Oh well, no, they're just, they're just moving, they're not charging. Yeah, they're picking at some of our chaps from range. Oh, that quick climb would have not done them any good at all. Artillery attack. The la the lancers. Because they're charging in. They are charging. You can see the commander's got his sword up. See, he's a bit safer now. <laughs> the initial waves of men have uh, swallowed him up into the ether. 133rd. Oh, they made it. They made it to the line. Get this artillery to hit the 146th two man. They've been repelled. Another unit trying to cross the bridge. Blast the Cilladar Lance with shrapnel shot. There's the commander. Got him down. Shrapnel shots about to go oh, straight overhead. Got another unit of the Worcester Regiment holding on. Cease fire. Actually, fire round shot. They've knocked out one of our guns. Now oh, they've got more guns at the rear. Doesn't matter though, they're not going to be able to break our defences. New men fire, <clears throat> fire shrapnel shot at the general's bodyguard. He is bravely trying to seek a crossing. Skirmishes. Oh, he's just out. Ooh. A couple of staff knocked out. Oh, 
another whole bunch of staff knocked out. You've got away lucky this time, Buster. You and your pink trousers. Some dervishes coming in. Yeah, stay your shrapnel shot. To be honest, let's get my guns to start to pick out this unit of guns. Another crossing has been repelled. That's what are these? Bargier infantry, Bargier infantry, dervishes, artillery. Dervishes are coming in. Yeah, they don't like that one bit. Ooh, my foot artillery is getting picked up, picked at by their guns. But my artillery seems to be useless. I can't hit anything. So my gunners are routed. So let's bring both my skirmishers into the line. The general's trying to cross again. Where is he? There he is. Too late. Gunners, you've already proved yourselves unreliable. Not they're crossing. Let's see if which man guns down the general. I think it was one of my skirmish units that did it. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit because right now it's just them bringing on reinforcements. When suitable, well, I am willing. Well, I am actually. Let's take my cuirassier, make them cross the river. Then we can start to pick off their artillery from range because it looks like all of their infantry is actually committed to cross at the river ford. So let's see how their officer views going into battle through the dead elephant carcasses. Not the standard bearer's gone. Second in command is gone. Oh, he's gone. Very well. What about the next officer? I think his second in command and standard bearer is gone. See, that first unit of dervishes has probably sucked up a lot of the uh, damage. S send our. The cab of their artillery is hidden. There we go. But yeah, we're not looking for total destruction of their army. I will take a ooh, quick line slammed home against the Bajir infantry. Yeah, they're not happy about that. So that, that gun team is routing, but fortunately it's routing as a coherent team. So at least we'll be able to knock them out. I mean, if you time it right, you can do the whole cavalry charge across the breach, mow them all down as they run away, but I've never been that bothered by that. I generally... It's, it's the smart thing to do, for sure, but... Well, I, what generally seems... Well, I'm, I'm pretty okay with the whole idea of... Most of my hearts aren't even... Oh, they are firing. They are reloading. But I'm quite happy with the an incredibly positive exchange ratio we already get. Oh look, it's a couple of artillery teams knocked out. What's not to like about that? I will bring up my cuirassier. All my artillery engage the general's bodyguard. They've lost many men. Try send my cavalry to try and knock out some of their infantry. Once these guys are knocked out, that might be an option. The trick is, well, ideally, you want to wait till these guys are all These guys are all knocked out. That includes Seek Musketeers, Ceasefire, Infantry Line, Ceasefire, K 
cavalry get into the mix. Curiosity get into the mix. General will get into the mix. Yeah, let's do a little bit of it. Get after the dervishes. We kill the general, so the elephants don't really matter. You run out of ammunition. I think most of these units are going to escape fairly happily, because the edge of the map is only just here. So let's just get all my guys to focus on one unit of Bajir infantry. Fundamentally, they're not going to take very long to escape at all. Down to 40 men. That's not bad. We knocked out a few artillery regiments, did a huge amount of damage to their infantry and the field. Not bad. 10 to 1. I'll take that. So those two forces have been pushed back. That's what you get. Yeah, Persia's going to be gunning for us any moment now. Certainly when we have two borders with them, they'll really not like that. Denmark is unhappy. But I think things are... Well, things are going very, very well. It would be um, silly to pretend otherwise. So can you chaps leave um, um, Satara? Minus eight. No, you cannot. Minus eight becomes minus five. So you are going to recruit another pretty much one turn's worth of Dragoons to make sure the city is held. Fleet arrives, Seamus Day, hello. So you might be the one to push on to Amedabad. Make way. Amedabad's not even garrisoned. So I'm just going to demand the surrender of the city. Oh my god, Udaipur isn't either. And Ahmedabad's not being developed at all. Dear oh dear, again. Tea plantation, church school, trading port. Combine these weaker ships. They don't really have a navy, so let's just sell you guys to the Strait of Hormuz. Block that up. Your force is nearly done. So your force advance. Your force advance. First of all, you march to the crossing here to prevent them easy access to running around us. Elias Haskett put back back. Oh my god, alive. I bet you won't. With, you won't surrender, no. But again, that's another major city that's just not defended. And you guys push up towards Nagpur. Again, that's not well defended either. So Mr. Croucher, let's take Hyderabad. Because this is... We're going to blitzkrieg through India. Because the, Mo the Marathas, despite having, you know, a huge amount of time undisturbed in their... Uh, in their continent all to themselves. I think Mysore was still around, but if M Mysore itself isn't the key to unlocking India. Um, but still, they've they've done a terrible, terrible, terrible job at fortifying their land. So, gunners make ready, howitzers make ready. Do you work this out before? I probably want Regular infantry, plus marines, plus grenadiers. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get away with it entirely. Take a unit of mercenaries. And that leaves us three mercenary units and two Queen's Rangers to push the breach, which isn't bad. Spread out our cavalry. General to the rear. Blow a hole in the wall. Ooh. <laughs> kind of got to go for the center, although I might not have been fast enough. No.
One turn, 33% damage. Where's their mortars? There they are. I mean, I wonder if they're actually going to try and push out of the city. Because it's a bit... They don't normally do that. They don't normally move from the centre unless they've got a target. But anyway, let's make some... Make some breaches. I mean, when those howitzers fire, then they're going to be incredibly upset. Because they are well within quick climb range. Yep, here all comes all the shells. Like that. Like... Yeah, reinforcements coming in, but that's not. Well, I'm not bothered about that. Is that soon to be one breach made? Yeah, they are. They're pushing out of the city. On one hand, good for them. On the other hand, you guys must be absolutely crackers. More garrison's been knocked down to just two guns, which is great. I might switch my howitzers to round shot to attack the mortar garrison, because these guys are probably going to get drawn out by... Oh, a couple of men get shot in the back of the head by mortar fire. Um, but they're probably going to get um, routed by musketry outside of the walls. What's back here? Elephants, dervishes, dervishes, guns. Doesn't matter. Our men are going to storm the wall. They've only got armed peasantry to stop us. Commit the cavalry because they're trying to hit the, our troops in the flank. No, nope, they've routed. Scale the wall, scale the wall, scale the wall, scale the gate. You men hold position by the gate. She might get one of them to try and quick climb centre. My artillery. Attack the corner. And then I will mass my cavalry over there. Yeah, quick climb's coming in. garrison's pushing out so we push in all my guns focus on attacking the centre where the breach is come on Northumberland fusiliers work it out so at least attack the centre while our troops get into position then once they're in position attack the edge of the attack the corner come on there we go. Because then my cavalry can sweep in. I mean, this might be a lot. This would be a lot easier if they get too used to our. Yeah, that's. I'm kind of. I was kind of hoping the dervishes might come this way. The lancers are accepting the action. Thumble and the Fusiliers deploy square. None of you have climbed up the wall yet, so it's not a, a disaster. Well, there we go. The route into the town is open. Artillery fire cease. How it's fire cease. Everyone get in. Give my skirmishers generic orders to attack certain buildings. Oh, you got smashed. Yeah, that's what that'll happen. You men can run in. What? There we are. We must have, our spy must have opened the uh, wall. Opened the... Oh no, okay, someone's trying to move out. I see. 
So you men run across the gate to secure it for us. Form up. In a not very good position because we know that they're gonna they're gonna clear us out with quick lime. But there we go, our dragoons are in. American infantry mercenaries are going to be in. Howitzers round shot the general's bodyguard. Oh no, these men are doomed to engage the dervishes because some of their men are actually like look at you guys what are you doing get the Northumberland Fusiliers to support the left flank Get this unit of mercenaries over here to take the gate. Get this unit of rangers out of here to go secure this gate. Pull my cavalry out. Let my mercenaries just pour volley fire into the mortars from relative safety here. My marines are going to clear out this unit of armed peasantry. Then pour musket fire onto the enemy. We've dropped a shot right down on top of our cuirassier, but it looks like they're not going to be able to make it. So my ranger's going to start firing onto the rear of the enemy position. Northumberland Fusiliers, engage! There we go, my rangers are in excellent position to start picking at the general's bodyguard. Uh, he misfired. Will he kill one now? Nope. <laughs> well, actually, one of you stay on the square just to make sure we hold it, and another one of you march up. Fire volley fire into the rear of the general's bodyguard. This armed peasantry is going down rapidly. These men, their job is just to hold. And it looks like, by George, I think we've done it. There we go. Hyderabad secured from Mughal forces. There we go. Yes, we did have a spy in the city, but it didn't really help us. you men replenish and let's build you into a craft workshop you to a place to stay upgrade the farm get our spy up to Lahore Investigating. Sir, your orders? upgrade you to a craft workshop everyone else is advancing go is coming to terms with our command of the Command of the uh, the western region of India. Upgrade the roads. Upgrade the governor's residence in the Madanagar. Build a church school. Upgrade the commercial port. So let's put our this large fleet into. Do we not have any military ports? Meanwhile, up here in Calcutta, upgrade the spice production, upgrade the roads are being upgraded, everything else is being upgraded, upgrade the mines, the Iron Master's works. You upgrade your roads, upgrade the fishing fleet. Good stuff, lots of really good work. Crimea is on strike. Workers have rioted in Rumelia, but then they've got over it. You both have your orders. Yeah, 
here, George Wade was getting down here ready to face off against the Persians. Gathering supplies. Eric Rodney push on through Esfahan to Zah to Zahedin. Let's get you into there. Recruit a militia unit. Let's also fix port here. Ankara. Keep upgrading the roads. That's part of the reason why it's taking so long to move our armies to the front. It's because we've got a bunch of territories that are not... Their infrastructure isn't in the best condition. Upgrade some farms. Upgrade water power cloth mill. You're still on the march. Can Richie Compton leave Kiev? He can. But let's upgrade the military infrastructure we leave behind. Let's get Richie Compton up to here. Because Alvin Villa is going to push on to Kazan. Another army is going to push on to Ufa. You're going to hit Oost. Adam Shaw is here, but we're going to want to replace him with... Curtis Patterson, he's our named general, so everyone else is going to be in a position to support. But we want Curtis, Pat Curtis Patterson to begin the offensive. You infiltrate Cherkask completely. So let's do a bit of upgrading. We still aren't finished in this region, but we are recruiting a army up here which you need four more infantry units the idea being this army can go take Agvatuk can go push against the against Yankton take the take Villa Barra no yeah Villa de, Villa de Bexar Bexar Behar Saratoga's been upgraded the cotton warehouse there has Calcutta keep upgrading the infrastructure there Church school's been done. Such fantastic amounts of industrial spending. There we go. There we go. Scoot the galley over to there. Good, you're covered. Elat, upgrade you to a ceramics factory. Great estates in Wallachia. Fishing fleet in Bulgaria we've done. Tea plantations in Goa we've upgraded. Cobbled roads in Goa we are upgrading. Upgrading the Weaver's Cottage and upgrading this. Okay, excellent. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is hit end turn and see... Well, no, we've got um, Akbarabad under siege. That's probably the smart thing to do, is to take Mr. Haskett, attack Akbarabad and say, We're looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the attack on Akbarabad, the new Maratha capital. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>